you can see there ip multicast routing or something maybe maybe not so what you do is you go to search by uh, entering uh, you know slash and then it shows the search option and here you can search ip multicast hopefully it is just multicast okay if you search it shows uh, the label like this see this networking options and then we searched and this is under networking 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 support networking options tcp ip networking and underneath it is there so you can enter uh, one because this is the search item is one uh, so enter one and you can go there you see there this is what is the option and it is under tcp ip networking so you can come back you can come back and then you can navigate from here somehow if you go to tcp ip networking okay from there inside you should able to find that option okay so that's what it is uh, tcp ip networking the ipv6 protocol let's uh, find if anywhere is there so this way sometimes you can go but in case if you are not aware uh, to go to that exact location then you can search and go in that way but you can also go to the source code and if this is an option you need to disable or enable so go here and you can uh, do a very quick search and you can go to that exact label you want so this is what happens in the kconfig includes okay so which means you can see there it is including this file into the kconfig of other file same thing happens more or less if you go back inside this net folder again see we are now again in that slash net so you come down you have this make file so open this make file you will have a huge list okay see this in this make file it contains all the make files which are included see please note here it is not compiling any object files only just couple of them see this compact it is compiling rest it is all doing is an include of the other make files okay once again i am saying this is lot different from user space make files uh, that is completely another world altogether and it looks more cumbersome and if you ask me i don't much do make files i do my own php scripts i do automate extensively i, I just hate the concept of make files being done in the user space so that's me i'm not saying that uh, you know you, you know uh, you may be liking it but that is your choice industry may be using it that is industry's choice but my choice is i don't much like this make file nonsense okay in user space i do extensive php scripts i do automate much better than uh, what a make file can do okay so that's me okay so go here uh, you can see there you have all this uh, includes so which is again uh, simple when you compile uh, with make uh, okay i'm not saying make menu config i'm saying just a make and then you start compiling the kernel it the control comes into this net folder and the net folder it will see there is this make file and it will know this has certain includes say for instance we take this make file you can see inside this make file it is including config gynet if it is enabled then include this ipv4 uh, make file so that is what it is saying ipv4 uh this folder make file should be included so that's what it is essentially saying so in that way if you click this or you go to this net folder and if you go to this uh, ipv4 folder you should able to find the make file over here okay see there there is a make file over here and here it dictates what are all the object files to be uh, produced or compiled from c files so you can see there you have this uh, ip underscore uh, input dot c ip fragment dot c corresponding there is ip fragment dot o ip input dot o and all these object files okay see here ip before you go you have all these files ip forward ip input dot c all these files so all these files have to be compiled so you have all that you know uh, stuff defined in this make file so you should understand even this make file have some uh, includes you can see there it is including this and uh, so on actually and it is also saying if this is enabled then uh, you know compile these things so some are in uh, some are uh, getting compiled no matter what and some are getting compiled if that modules are enabled which means those tags are enabled okay so this is what and these are the tags you will enable or disable in the make menu config command okay so you should able to do uh, this way or hope uh, if it works i should able to do uh, let me not save this config file i can also do is x config 
so it will show in a different interface see i am missing this uh, qt some instance so if i install i should able to do this make xconfig as well okay so hope uh, you got some vague idea like i said uh, if i start uh, you know discussing about this i need an entire 2 hour session it is not possible in uh, you know you, you know some 10 minute or 20 minute or even half an hour impatient youtube videos okay so what is the thing is this is the idea uh, you know there's a lot goes so each time you enable these things in the c code you can actually do if and if and all that so you can do that if you add any extra labels you can do that uh, you can do that if and if in any place of uh, kernel if you add this uh, you know uh, labels in kconfig okay so you can do those things and i can uh, show some uh, live example of uh, my code uh, like this uh, topic code because uh, uh, what is the point of showing some existing code i have done uh, stuff like this uh, and uh, i have done at various uh, cases uh, some uh, for my module some it is not a module but i have added these labels so that uh, i can disable enable the compilation uh, of sections of existing pre-existing kernel code so that way if you ask me i can uh, very quickly show my uh, code uh, it is over here tunas mount to so it is in media kiran this thing tunas mount to yes so this is the code if you go inside uh, you should able to see inside the net folder there is this toffee is there uh, this is my uh, stuff you can see there i have added an entire module over there but like i mentioned in few episodes a couple of weeks before i don't do as a kernel modules but it it is an extra stuff which is a part of linux kernel so anyway my uh, code uh, although it is not officially as a module still it is an add on okay to the existing kernel code so somehow i need to make a flow so that i should able to compile and i should able to do things so you can see there it is there and you can see there i have my own kconfig and make file and my kconfig and make file i have pre-registered in this kconfig so if you scroll down somewhere it will have that uh, you know include of toffee you can see there it is including net toffee kconfig so that way if i do make menu config uh, command i should able to control my uh, enable disable of my features or modules uh, okay of my primary module which is toffee and some sub modules inside the toffee okay so you have that and you can see there in the make file again i'm including this toffee so which means if i compile it should able to go inside the toffee folder and it will compile those files as well so if we jump back to this kconfig inside this toffee folder you can see that this is like any other typical uh, stuff as uh, some are bools so some are tri states in my case i don't have any tri states i'm just enabling and disabling which which feature i want to enable this compression disable this compression so i'm using this bool uh, versus uh, over here uh, you know these uh, kconfig mostly are uh, tri state you can see that they are tri state okay which means like i said uh, since these are modules you can have it uh, star it means it's a part of the kernel m means it's a part of uh, as a module and uh, you know if you don't enable either of them then it will not be compiled so in my case it is just a tri state these are not modules these are some options so these are some hash defined options so you can see there bool means compression and not uh, enabled means it is not enabled so in my code i can do some sort of uh, uh, you know if and ifs and i can uh, you know control see there uh, i can do this if and ifs of these labels and i can choose portions of my code and this optimizes because if i have some uh, global variable and it is enabled and disabled what happens is uh, each network packet it has to do that if condition and it actually uh, you know going to add some overhead so it's a last minute effort uh, for me uh, so that i can optimize my code so ignore that just learn that i do this way see for instance uh, some of this uh, labels uh, which i am setting here i am using it in other third party uh, this thing uh, if you go inside uh, this bridge b or forward i should able to use like the c here i am using config toffee and i am using my own uh, stuff here and if you go down you should still able to find if and ifs over here and there so this is the advantage you get that's why i'm saying unfortunately you are brainwashed the moment you start uh, thinking about kernel code you start thinking about writing some useless kernel modules which is a terrible idea okay this way you will never learn 
how you should do kernel programming not just some kernel module programming okay so there's a difference between a kernel programming and a module programming is just a part of kernel programming so don't get that confusion okay so see the big picture and learn first like i say always start reading the kernel code learn the kernel itself then it makes you a better kernel developer not by writing uh, jump and immediately this is, you know the next day you learn about uh, linux kernel basics the next day you start writing some uh, kernel module sample module and then claim that i have able to insert the kernel module and it works it doesn't teach you anything okay because practically you are not doing anything useful with that so you see there you have this if config and if and, uh, and if uh, this uh, label I'm attaching to the existing code. See this, this BR forward is not my file. I'm just adding over there. But if it is enabled via kconfig and uh, it will be supported. So even we can see this in action. Okay. What I can do is I can open another uh, tab, uh, open a tab and uh, we can uh, go to that location to NAS uh, or dd to NAS mount to and you can see there toffee and we can go inside this linux and we can do make menu config here and i should able to show you see i am doing uh, this i'm doing it inside this uh, you know you can see there it is in net k config so this file is in net k config see here the status bar so i am registering there so that way if you go here you should able to find it in uh, networking uh, support and uh, networking options and here you should able to find my toffee stuff see there it comes there and if i disable this whole thing gets wiped off if i enable this then it will show these subsections and then i can disable and enable see i'm uh, doing as a bool not tri-state because it is not a tri-state okay it's either enable or disable it is not enabling and disabling a module which is why even the whole toffee since it is not a module but it is a kernel module okay but it is not a module okay it is not officially a kernel module but it is a small module in a kernel okay which means it is not having any module in it module exit but it is a small module okay so that's what i meant it's not a module but it's a kernel module so if you do this it disables which means the code is not added you enable this then the code is added okay so, and, and then you have all these things so this is how i do architecture so i don't want to comment it's a good one it's a bad approach it's you know it's how i want i have done it i know the reason i have done it okay so i don't want anyone saying that this is not a good way or bad way this is what i want i have done the way i want okay so you can see there you have these options so this way you can actually make it a part of kernel source so what happens is if you have any module like this what you are supposed to do is you can create a folder and put your module inside the folder and create a kconfig file and attach link that kconfig to the existing kconfig like what i showed here okay and you need to write this if it, there is any dependency you can add and otherwise you just need to do and in the help you can define any small documentation like what i have done here in the help i have done that this is so and so you can you know stuff like that you can add any license information and things like that if you are interested so like that you can do and then your k config is fine in the case of make file what happens is you can uh, write a small uh, make file uh, so that it compiles those uh, modules in my case you can see there uh, the make file is uh, this uh, see there uh, all this object files uh, i'm adding in my make file uh, which is essentially all this uh, c files uh, and of course i do have uh, you know include files of mine other than you know standard uh, kernel include so include files you can anyway put it in the uh, include folder and uh, make it well organized so this is what you know it happens so in case if you are interested uh, let me summarize that sort in case if you are interested um, incorporating your kernel modules within the kernel code i'm not saying uh, you know submitting to the mainline that's a complete different topic so if you want to incorporate in the existing kernel code so that when you do kernel compilation it should be able to compile all your modules as well uh, either in the module format it's or otherwise it's just 
generally module but may not be module like my stuff okay in either case you want to incorporate in the you know kernel source these are the steps to be done uh, you know you need to uh, extend your k config so that menu config support will come and then that way you can select which to be compiled and which you know not to be compiled so that's it dictates okay other than that you know you need to extend your uh, make file so that uh, the primary make file should have an include and it should reach your make file so that when you do a make uh, uh, you know externally in the kernel source it should able to you know get that flow all the way to your kernel uh, uh, module or your uh, you know custom uh, code folders as well like you know what you've seen in my toffee code so this once it is done uh, it will be all incorporated if there is any uh, you know error in your code then uh, you know as usual like any kernel compilation it will compile and then it is going to show that error and then it will stop the compilation and stuff like that so from there onwards you can uh, do selective compilation also and you can do whichever way you want okay so this is what happens so hope uh, this addresses uh, the question uh, if uh, you guys have anything to discuss uh, you can uh, be in uh, touch in mail or you can uh, post your uh, you know queries in uh, youtube comments okay thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye